everyone. Welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Today we are looking at, get it centered there, a 1988 Home Light 330 automatic. These were built from the late 70s to the late 80s. Pretty common, uh, you know, JCPenney, big catalogs like that used to carry them. Uh, I guess what we would call box stores now carried them. So a lot of them were sold. This one's fairly clean, as you can see. Got some scuffs from being moved around and used, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that is the original sprocket. You can see somewhere, but not a whole lot. So, Good clean saw all in all when I got it. This is another one that my friend Hal managed to uh, find up in uh, his neck of the Rogue Valley. Uh, this one received fresh fuel hoses, oil hoses, uh, fuel tank vent, kind of the normal stuff, good cleanup, and this needed a new spark plug wire. Uh, the old one had been damaged, and right there's where the plug end would have normally gone. So when I got it, this was hanging out the back with this pigtail and no end on it. I don't know what exactly the previous owner had attempted to do with it but let me assure you that one pull with that right there if it touched your hand yeah, you would have felt the bite these electronic ignitions do put out uh, plenty of voltage so anyway as you can see this is a good running 330 if you need a firewood saw this one would certainly do it for you and you can see the wet spot and this oiler is working just fine the 330's kinda got notorious uh, reputation for having a finicky oiler but as long as you don't let oil you know sit in them and go bad I know oil doesn't totally go bad but if it sits there for years upon years and cooks it does kind of turn into a sludge and it can plug them up so anyway again if you need a good firewood saw this might be the ticket for you